I, 22 male. 1 to leave my, 22 female, pregnant gf. Hey all. I've tried posting a longer context post it won't let me so. Me and my girlfriend have been dating for 11 months. And it's been hell. She's emotionally and financially manipulative. This has been going on long before she fell pregnant. I don't want to leave her when she's having our child together but it's got so bad to the point I'm on antidepressants. I just want to be happy again and I don't feel like I can be happy or the best dad when I'm with her. I want to be in my child's life and be the best dad I can be. It's got to the point where all my family members can see how ill and sick I am and she hasn't even noticed it. Her dad had to tell her what she was doing is wrong and now I'm being love bombed but I know it's all fake. We don't work as a team and there is no willingness to compromise. My dad and family are supporting any decision I make. Even my boss has noticed how bad I look. Please share your thoughts. Thanks. When a relationship is affecting every other aspect of your life, you need to leave. You can still be a good father to your child. Start doing cardio, it'll help when that time comes when you need to run. You have a responsibility only to the child, not to the parent. Be a present dad. Leave her. Don't dilly-dally. Tell her directly now only. Also maybe get a paternity test. My dad left my mom when I was two. Not on a bad note, they just weren't as compatible as they used to be. My dad is an amazing dad and I'm loved by both. So you can easily be in the child's life. If you also get some custody over your child. My boyfriend called my O face ugly. So myself 22FM dating at 22M. He lives 2 hours and 40 millines away so we only see each other on the weekends. When we finally see each other we have a lot of sex like usually 4-7 times from Friday to Sunday night. But here's the thing. I struggle to reach orgasm with other people I don't know why I just do and I always have. It takes a lot of work. I've only finished with him maybe 10 times in the 7 months we've been together, it doesn't bother me. Last Sunday we jumped in the shower after I had a mind-blowing orgasm and he told me, jokingly, that I have an, ugly orgasm face. And I know no one really looks amazing when they come but man why did he feel the need to say it? It felt like a punch in the face and heart. Growing up people around me told me I had an ugly face. My nickname in high school was, prawn, good body fucked head. It was funny I can laugh at myself. But he knows I struggled with that my whole life and only within the last year I have become very happy in my appearance. I'm so hurt he said this about an intimate and vulnerable moment. I mentioned today how hurt I am and asked for space. Anyway, I feel like this will drastically change our intimacy. At this point in time I do not want to have sex at all and I don't think I'll ever orgasm with him again. My mind will be so focused on my facial expressions I won't be able to focus on the pleasure to finish. I'm considering not going to see him this weekend. I can't imagine having sex with him without putting myself down. I genuinely don't know what to do. He is usually a super understanding and supportive partner. But what do I say to him? How do I get past hearing this from him? Yeah. Good men don't say shit like this. That isn't a joke. Not something majority of people would even think to say. Even if he thought it, a good partner wouldn't say it. As there's no value add. Absolutely nothing good will come from it. It's not even remotely comedic. I'd leave. It isn't worth the insecurity. I've heard before how you should never make fun of someone's laugh or smile, because you don't want to be responsible for stealing those things from them. Now I guess we can add orgasm face to the list because WTF? I'm not usually on the breakup train, but like, it's already a difficult thing to achieve. I can't get off if someone can see my face because I'm also self-conscious but to say? Uh, I am so sorry. If you really feel like you would never be able to get off with him again, what is the point in staying together? I realize sex isn't everything but if it's something you used to enjoy and he robbed that joy from you, it's time to cut your losses. A dad at my child's school is creeping me out. A dad at my child's school is making me, f, very uncomfortable. Every time we cross paths during drop-off, pick up. Whether it's when parents are queuing at the gates or walking to, from the classrooms, school, he is always staring at me. I'm unsure how long he is looking before I realize that I am being stared at but he does this multiple times during each encounter. As soon as I realize, I avoid eye contact and he still carries on. Has even done it when my partner has accompanied me. At first it was just irritating but now I'm very uncomfortable and dread bumping into him. Does anyone have any ideas for how to deal with this issue? Bring a mirror and start holding it up to him. Start taking pictures of him doing it. Like, clearly and transparently take his picture. If that doesn't work, 
Get your partner and friends to go pose with him, all staring at you. Just stare him down angrily. If he doesn't stop, approach him and ask why he is staring at you and tell him it makes you uncomfortable. Assuming you're more passive, you could also approach him and say, I've noticed you stare at me frequently and for long enough it's even creeped me out a bit. Is there something going on here? Nicely or with a smile. If, when he hits on you clearly state you're not interested and hope that settles it. If he continues, do the above step and also alert teachers. My girlfriend never wants to orgasm. So this is a pretty simple one. My girlfriend never wants to come during sex. She just tells me, no, I don't feel like it, it makes me feel so guilty every time I bust and we just end sex without her getting a turn. What do I do? I've talked to her about it numerous times and she just says it's not a big deal. Edit. I wanted to add that she used to orgasm every single time we had sex, sometimes multiple times, during the first year of our relationship. It just suddenly stopped. Also when she masturbates alone, she likes to orgasm? No she was not faking it. She even used to squirt and stuff. I don't really know how else to convince you guys other than she had made it clear from the start she would never fake an orgasm. A woman here. For me to orgasm during intercourse is a lot of specific work and a lot of mental work. So to pursue my own orgasm or to have most fun overall are actually two different strategies, not always, but can be. I still enjoy sex very much. A lot of times I enjoy it so much I get overwhelmed and essentially run out of steam without an orgasm. So I feel deeply satisfied but don't actually come. On my own 30 seconds 10 minutes tops. Different process. I'm not sure that's what's going on here. Your girlfriend will be best to speak for it, just offering a perspective to ease your worries.